Bonjour et merci beaucoup. Je veux commencer en reconnaissant la tragédie en Haïti. Je suis tellement triste de ce qui se passe en Haïti. On doit les aider. I also want to take a moment to talk about what's going on in Afghanistan. It is very, very troubling what's going on. We're seeing the reality of Kabul falling, and I'm really worried about the women, particularly, but the people that served with and helped out Canadian forces. I'm deeply troubled. We need to make sure we are doing everything possible to help out and to evacuate uh, those that are in danger now. En général, c'était un temps difficile. La pandémie a frappé fort et on sait que les travailleurs et travailleuses ont fait face à des grands défis. Les petites entreprises aussi ont eu des grands défis et c'était un temps difficile. Et pendant ces temps difficiles, on sait qu'il y avait des autres crises aussi. La crise climatique continue. On sait qu'on a des feux de forêt créés par la crise climatique qui, qui impacte tout le pays. On a une crise du logement qui continue. Une crise qui était difficile avant, avant de la pandémie, mais qui était pire maintenant. Et on sait aussi qu'il y a un manque de ressources pour nos soins de santé, une réalité qui se passe depuis longtemps et qui continue. These crises have only gotten worse over the past six years. When we think about the climate crisis, Justin Trudeau is the only leader of a G7 nation who has increased emissions over the six years he's been in power. And we know that the climate crisis is so devastating. We are feeling the impacts of it right now with forest fires across Canada, making it hard to breathe, making it hard to see the sky. This is a real challenge that we're up against, and it's only getting worse. We know that the housing crisis was a crisis before the pandemic. It's only gotten worse over these six years. It's becoming more and more unaffordable for people across the country to find a place that's in their budget to rent or to own. And we know that Indigenous people continue to face serious struggles, not having access to clean drinking water, being denied basic human rights. All these things have only gotten worse over the past six years. And despite things getting worse, we see Justin Trudeau right now focused on an election. We are still in a pandemic. We are still worried about this pandemic. And people have referred to the pandemic and said, well, we've all been in the same boat. And I say really clearly, we've not been in the same, we've not, we've not been in the same boat. We've been in the same storm for sure. But some people have ridden out this storm in luxury yachts while others have been in leaky lifeboats. We know that the ultra rich in this pandemic have been given a free ride by liberals and conservatives, so they have increased their wealth. The richest billionaires in Canada have increased their wealth by $75 billion in counting, and Justin Trudeau has allowed that to happen. Companies like Amazon make record profits, but still contribute virtually no taxes in Canada. Instead of calling an election, Justin Trudeau should be focused on these crises, on getting people the help they need, on walking the path instead of walking away from these commitments. So many people are wondering why this selfish summer election? Well, it's clear Justin Trudeau wants to grab power, wants a majority. But why does he want a majority? It's certainly not because he wants to help more people or help people more. It's only because he wants to help people less and people end up paying the price. The reality is he is fed up with New Democrats pushing him to deliver more help to more people. And he certainly doesn't want to put in place any measures to make the ultra rich pay their fair share. I believe that better is possible. Si on ose ensemble, je sais qu'on peut investir dans notre avenir. On peut investir pour régler la crise du logement. On peut investir dans nos soins de santé. On peut réagir aux enjeux qui touchent la communauté autochtone. On peut réaliser la justice. Si on ose ensemble, imaginez ce qu'on peut faire ensemble. C'est exactement ce qu'on veut faire. Osons ensemble. On peut investir dans les gens, on peut s'assurer que les autres riches payent le juste part et on peut bâtir une meilleure société ensemble. Merci beaucoup. Thank you so much. I'm really honored to be here with you today and I'm ready for any questions you might have. Encore un grand merci à toute mon équipe qui sont ici et je suis prêt pour vos questions. I'm ready for your questions.